Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the presentation of the Master of Science in Communications and Computer Networks Engineering. Uh, today, I will try to give you a brief overview of the Master of Science, so speaking of the topics that are addressed within this course, and also, let's say, five good reasons that, in our opinion, uh, can uh, motivate you to choose this uh, Master of Science. Uh, also speaking of what are the perspectives uh, after this uh, Master. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Professor Fabio Dovis. Uh, I'm the coordinator and the reference person uh, for this uh, Master of Science. And uh, here you have my email address that you can use to ask for any information that you might need regarding this, uh, this study course. So what is uh, uh, CCNE, the Communications and Computer Networks Engineering uh, Master of Science? It's the Master of Science that is focused on the systems and applications that are related to the processing and transferring of digital information. So it's the study course in which we address for sure the systems that are used to uh, connect and link people to transfer information. Uh, but we are also addressing what uh, is needed to create this digital information that should be transferred. I think that it's clear to all of us, given the time that we are living, how it is important to be connected and to be connected in a reliable way, um, having systems uh, uh, that are uh, available everywhere with good quality. So this is the job of a telecommunication engineer that is able to address both the communication part and the networking part. So, uh, these are the two, mm, let's say, main aspects that we are addressing in this course. So we will speak of uh, uh, modulations, smartphones and mobile communication, but also of networks, so the internet, and also the technologies that are needed to create uh, such systems like uh, wideband uh, connections and fiber optics. Uh, Anyway, we are also addressing the uh, applications of all these systems. And so uh, this, there is a wide range, of course, of applications of the communication technologies that ranges from space communication to network communications or to multimedia signal processing, so processing of audio, video, uh, and images. Uh, the course is uh, uh, in somewhat in between the what we call the physical layer so the hardware that is uh, addressed by the uh, electronics and physics uh, master of sciences and what is more related to the application and software development so what is computer science so you see here a stack of the uh, courses that are in the ICT area. And you can see that the CCNE is the link between uh, the hardware, let me say, and the software layers. Mm -hmm. So we are there in between as a fundamental link uh, between these two layers. The course is, of course, uh, uh, addressing what is the state of the art and what are the technologies that are used nowadays. But we want to uh, train engineers that are able to develop the new technologies for the future. And so uh, we are not just giving knowledge of what is the state of the art today, but the course has a strong uh, approach uh, in terms of methodologies so that you are able to deal with complex problems uh, in the communication field and this uh, is uh, what is also most appreciated um, <clears throat> when you will look for a job because you are able to uh, put together the knowledge the technologies in a but you know how to also develop new things. 
Uh, last but not least, uh, we have uh, an approach that uh, proposes to you to have uh, group uh, teamwork uh, to interact with the professors and also with other students because we think that you have also to develop while studying those skills that are uh, needed uh, to live uh, in a, I mean, when you will have a job to live in a company and to live in an in the industrial world mm -hmm. because you will also acquire this ability to work together uh, to deal with English as we will say and to <clears throat> work with people that uh, come from all over the world so what could be five good reasons in short uh, to choose the CCNE Master of Science uh, we have professors that are not just teachers coming in the class to teach you the basic things, but they are very well-known researchers at international level. That means that what you learn is taught by someone who is still working on it, that has a the view about the evolution, the perspectives, what the research is doing, and these are uh, uh, grants that what is taught, uh, it's really up to date. And uh, the fact that the professors are uh, also very active in research, uh, make them work in a lot of international projects at European or even international level, uh, that uh, grants the connection between what is taught with the companies, the company needs, uh, and the vision about the future also from the industrial world. A second good reason is in fact this good link with the industry that uh, make, uh, that give the, to the students the possibility uh, to have theses developed in companies or internships uh, and uh, we have to say that, uh, of course, we have to deal with the emergency situation that we are living in this month. But for you that are enrolling uh, now, I mean, during your second year, for sure we will, have, we will be able to offer all these opportunities again. And as you can see, uh, this is a collection just of uh, examples of uh, internships and theses uh, developed in, in, the, in the past years. We range from the providers of communication system, but also research centers and other kind of companies that are exploiting the communication technologies. Another good reason uh, related to this link to the industry is for sure the excellent job placement. These are official uh, data coming from the survey uh, that is done at uh, national level about the job placement of the graduated uh, students. And you can see that what is important is that 100% of them got a job after one year. And it's even less than one year because if you look uh, on the bottom, uh, after five months, that's the average time to get a job with a salary that is uh, comparable to the average salary of the graduated students from Politecnico and even a little bit higher. The, uh, let's say, third aspect is that given this research environment uh, that where the professors are working and the links with the companies, you have a lot of opportunities and uh, I can assure you that we have uh, many, many requests from the companies, from public institutions, from research center uh, for the CV of our graduated students. Another good reason is that it's a very international course. The, as you know, the Master of Science is uh, completely taught in English. Uh, this is because more than 50% of the students or about 50% of the students come from uh, abroad, from Europe and even outside Europe. And this creates a very uh, interesting, also multicultural environment in which you, you can work. Uh, and for sure it's uh, sometimes challenging, but this is what allows you to develop the skills that you need 
uh, when you will go uh, to work. Um, and it's also a, a way to train your language skills. Uh, we have also a, a lot of uh, uh, double degrees and uh, um, um, agreements for uh, Erasmus Plus destinations. Uh, again, uh, right now we are suffering from some limitations, at least for this year. But again, for you that are enrolling now, uh, we do hope mm, that everything will be back on track and uh, you will be able to uh, also travel to these uh, destinations. The uh, course uh, uh, has more than 300 hours of labs mm, that are devoted to practical training on wireless optical communication, networking, signal processing, and uh, these labs are um, many times this, the labs that we also use for research. So it's a way to uh, really approach uh, the research world and work with tools that are very advanced. We have to say that um, we can assure you that despite of the limitations that are <clears throat> now in place uh, due to the COVID emergency, uh, all the lab hours are confirmed for the next academic year. Uh, even if, of course, for the one of you that won't be able to be uh, here, there will be the possibility to access them remotely uh, or to work on a digital twins of the equipment that we have. But the labs uh, are for us an important part of the training and they are confirmed, as I said, for the next year. The uh, last, uh, let's say, good reason, and it's a very modern uh, study course. Since many years, uh, we are uh, developing uh, uh, new methodologies also for the teaching. More than 50% of the courses are video recorded, uh, and this uh, since before the uh, emergency COVID situation. There are other, and uh, very different opportunities to enrich your uh, syllabus. For example, we offer a workshop uh, that is the possibility to develop a multidisciplinary project along the two years of the Master of Science. Uh, so touching the topics of different uh, courses that you will take. Uh, we are connected to some students' uh, associations and students team. So there are CCNE students that are contributing in particular to the draft team uh, regarding the autonomous flight of drones and the uh, uh, CubeSat team for uh, the communication system with the satellites that are launched by this team uh, in Politecnico. Uh, and also uh, we always promote the participation to um, activities for students such as uh, uh, hackathons or uh, students competition like for example the one that you see in the slides that is uh, a competitions uh, on satellite navigation promoted by the european commission so just to uh, conclude uh, uh, this uh, overview i want to give you an example that is maybe not the first example that come to your mind uh, uh, thinking to a study course in telecommunications because most of the time maybe the first thing that comes to our mind is just a smartphone or a communication system like that but the communication systems communications technologies are pervasive technologies uh, so they are used in many fields and are the backbone for services and new applications so, for example, if you look at something that looks so far from the communication field, like the revolution in farming, uh, what is called smart farming or farming 4.0, um, well, most of the services that are provided uh, rely on communications because the idea is to have you no know, monitoring and uh, uh, sustainable use of the resources uh, that requires to have uh, monitoring from satellites, transfer of data, autonomous vehicle able to uh, undertake operations without 
uh, human intervention. And uh, so all these things, data collection, sensing, uh, image processing, are things that are related uh, to the courses that uh, you teach, uh, uh, that you will, that we teach, and you will uh, see in CCNE. In fact, you now here is just an example of the study courses that you see uh, in the study plan of CCNE, and that are addressing aspects that would be involved in the for farming 4.0. Just as an example. So if you have uh, some questions, of course, uh, you can ask uh, them now. We have a few minutes uh, still in, the, in this room, but we are also running right now uh, a counseling room. Uh, that is what is uh, the, what you see on the, if you click or you choose the first QR code. But we, I also invite you to take note of my email address and you can, of course, write to me also after this webinar and also uh, to join the ICT chat that is a, a telegram chat uh, on which you can ask and through which you will in, be informed not only on CCNE but on the master of sciences uh, uh, in uh, the ICT field and through that chat we will give you also the information on other initiatives that we are planning in the next uh, weeks uh, to let you know better these uh, study courses. So this uh, uh, closes my uh, presentation. And uh, if you have questions, uh, we invite you to write them uh, in the chat. Uh, together with me, there is also my colleague, uh, Lorenzo Galliani, that is another professor teaching uh, at the first year of the uh, Master of Science in CCNE. Uh, and so he, Help me also in answering to your doubts and questions. Okay, so Andrea uh, Pino asks, how many group projects are present? Uh, we have, uh, uh, I mentioned to you the workshop that is a group project uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, a project that is uh, on a voluntary basis uh, and lasts uh, uh, two years. So it covers, let's say, different courses. Then there are, mm, I would say, uh, four or five uh, um, um, classes in which you are required to create uh, your team mm, and to work in uh, small groups. Mm. Uh, in particular, there, is, there are a couple of slots in the second year uh, in which you have to choose a la uh, laboratory uh, activity, and that's performed in, in small groups of three, four people. Okay. And uh, Andrea Di Mauro has an interesting question. He says, uh, to access the master, uh, the CCNE master degree, do you need to recover subjects? I think, uh, you know, what subjects do you need uh, to access the, what, what courses so do you need before? If you're coming from uh, computer engineering, uh, uh, from Politecnico, uh, you uh, have all the background, uh, so you have no, no depth on uh, enrolling in CCNE. The, the, let's say that there are no substantial, uh, uh, substantial courses that you have to take, let's say, to fill uh, your background. That's right. Maybe Andrea uh, Di Mauro wants to tell us, uh, could tell us uh, what his degree is uh, right now, what is he attending? Uh, I think that he, he wanted to say that he is from computer engineering. That's oh, OK, 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 OK. So uh, Very good, yeah, uh, sure. there are no formal depths. Sometimes uh, maybe you have to uh, struggle a little bit more on the first uh, communication uh, classes, mm? uh, but you have a big advantage on the computer science classes with respect, let's say, to the average population of the, of, of the course. So there's, there are no depths. Okay, so Thank you, you took the signal and systems in already in English with Professor Poggiolini. 
poggiolini. Don't be shy, eh? if you have curiosities sure. or questions, they might be useful also for the others that are here. Uh... Yeah. Um... Professor Gaudino and Professor Bosco, yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Sure. Because, uh, yeah, we are speaking in English. Uh, so a question that um, a student typically asks is, um, are our, our classes uh, very large? Do we have uh, hundreds of students like in other degrees or they are small and so it's easy to interact with professors? So maybe this is something that we can uh, tell them. Okay, so what are the main differences with respect to ICT for Smart Society Master degree? ICT for Smart Society is, is a degree that we launched uh, recently. Uh, we meaning the, the people from communication engineering, the Polytechnic of Torino, and uh, basically it has to do with everything that is uh, uh, smart in our society. So uh, we have uh, several several things now that uh, you know we have several sectors like energy, for example, smart grids, transportation, and uh, health. Okay. And uh, so the basic idea, the basic difference is that there's uh, much more uh, information technology there and data analysis, okay? They get us granted, uh, in some sense, uh, uh, transferring of information, which is uh, uh, one of the backbones of uh, CCNE, Com Communication and Computer Networks Engineering. It's a backbone, of course, you know, transferring information and also processing information. So signal processing, image, video analysis, uh, uh, satellite navigation, okay? But for ICT for Smart Societies, uh, uh, there is more granted in some sense. Then you have to develop uh, information technology tools, uh, software tools, uh, and the data analysis to understand uh, you know, the data that the application you're dealing with. It's a very interesting degree. Okay? So uh, not so different from, from this one, not so different. Also, Gabriele, Gabriele did anybody, uh, uh, I think, uh, also, Salik asked, uh, any suggestions, sir, for... Salik, did anybody answer your question? Are you still there? Any suggestions, sir, for what subject we, we must revise before joining the, the new semester? Uh, I don't know if Salik... Uh, yes, I'm... Okay, you're there. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for your feedback. And uh, it's a good question, okay? It's a good question. I think um, uh, going through signal processing would be very important because... Um, that's one of the first subjects that we teach. We teach. I actually teach an advanced course in signal processing. It's called signal processing methods and algorithms. And so the signal processing concepts are used throughout all the courses. So uh, I would say that that is a very good idea. So go through your uh, notes. You certainly have them. You, you hold a degree in electronics and communication. So go through everything, you know, from, uh, I don't know, what is a uh, Fourier transform, uh, DFT, FFT, and uh, filtering and uh, discrete time systems, uh, random processes, noise. Just go through the basic things. I will teach the basic ideas uh, anyway so that they are self-consistent. You don't need additional material for that, okay? But if you do it before, then that's a great advantage. Uh, okay, it's now uh, 12, 18 p.m. I think we are, uh, you're welcome. Thanks to you, Sari. I think we are over time uh, because this session is intended to finish, uh, was intended to finish at 12.15. Uh, Carlo, can you uh, confirm this? Uh, maybe he's not there. Yeah. Yes. Carlo Monte. We got a close, right? Exactly. Okay, so uh, for the other people who have questions, you can join us in the consultancy room. It's already open. Uh, it's already open because it actually opened at 11.30 a.m., so before the, uh, the presentation, the, this webinar uh, given by Professor Fabio Dovi. So follow the QR code here that you see in the slide. And uh, we can see there uh, right now, okay? I will disconnect from here. Uh, Professor Fabio Dovis got dis disconnected by, by mistake, and now uh, we will both connect there, and you can go ahead with questions. This is the right time to ask them, okay? 
Remember, uh, if you still have more questions, there's the ICT chat. You see the links here. We will, you can ask questions on Telegram or uh, read questions and answers uh, written by you know, our professors in the team, in the CCNE team. So thank you, everybody. It was a pleasure to, to have all of you here. Um, the, the consulting virtual room should start in a second. Carlo, can you uh, confirm that, please? The consulting virtual room. When we join there, it should work, right, Carlo? Exactly, yes. Okay, okay. so now let's disconnect. And thank you all for uh, being here. Let's uh, go into the consultancy room right now. Thank you.